A salary is the drug they give you when they want you to forget about your dreams. Welcome to the Corporate Dropout Podcast. I'm your host, Alessia Citro. After a successful career in tech, suffering from burnout, stress, and anxiety, I walked away from a multiple six-figure career to chase my passions and purpose as a coach and entrepreneur. This show is going to inspire, equip, and empower you to do the same. Let's get it. What you track grows. Grow what matters with the 90-day cycle to new habits journal and stay focused on what will move your business forward. Pick up your copy today at 90dayhabits.co and use code CITRO, that's C-I-T-R-O, for 10% off. Shedding what's no longer meant for us or pruning is something that we are meant to do. In today's Mindset Monday mini episode, I share why humans are a lot like rose bushes, a recent experience I had, and an empowering quote for anyone who's going through relationship loss. I'm not known for my green thumb, but I'm blessed to be married to someone who is and whose dad is. Both Jeff and my father in law take great pride in their rose bushes. The trick to beautiful roses? Pruning. Regular pruning is necessary to keep roses healthy. Pruning will help your plants produce more blooms throughout the season, lessen the chance for diseases to occur, and give you a healthier plant all around. A rose bush will survive without an annual pruning, but it will become a weak, poorly shaped plant with smaller blooms. Pruning removes dead and diseased canes and triggers new buds to push at the base so that new vigorous canes can form. So the parallel between rose bushes and human relationships is astonishing. We are not meant to maintain relationships with everyone we meet through our life. If you don't remove people in your life who drain your energy, create drama, make you feel like shit, that judge you, or that are only there for what you can do for them, like a rose bush that's not pruned, you're likely going to be weakened and or become diseased. Yes, you may still bloom, but the buds won't be as large or as beautiful, and you may grow ill from carrying the dead weight of these relationships that you were meant to shed. I once heard that people come into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. Every day, I'm getting better at knowing who is who, although sometimes I still get surprised. (laughs) And all of this begs the question, when is the last time you pruned the relationships in your life? Sometimes we do the pruning and sometimes others do it for us. So let me give you an example of each that happened to me recently. So recently I had to prune a business relationship. For various reasons I won't detail here, my intuition was loud and clear that it was not the right fit and the misalignment became obvious. I shared with this person that we couldn't continue together And the conversation did not go well. While I was only looking to prune a business relationship, I inadvertently pruned the entire relationship and a few more. So here's what happened. Within 48 hours, all the mutual friends I had with this person who were closer to her than they are to me unfollowed me on social media without a word from any of them. Some even had their spouses unfollow me. Another removed me from her followers, and they also unfollowed Jeff, even though he didn't do anything. And these are people I considered friends and that I had talked to almost every day for nearly two years. And I was astonished that quote unquote friends would abandon me without a word and over a business decision that didn't involve them. I was so hurt. And I thought, how could they prune me? They don't even know my side of the story. But that was my victim mentality and ego piping in. The victor in me knows this happened for me. So I'm curious, have you ever had something like this happen to you where you know your side of the story was not heard and that the other side was perhaps embellished? If so, you know how much this hurts, especially if you're someone who, like me, prides themselves on doing the right thing and on transparent communication, even when it's uncomfortable. 
But here's the honest truth. Pruning is always a blessing. And when I looked past my wounded ego, I became grateful for what it showed me. And why I'm sharing all of this today is that I know a lot of us have had relationships become strained or maybe disappear in the last two years, given how polarized we've become as a society. And so I hope the following blessings and lessons will ring true for you and give you some peace of mind. So first, I preach all the time how you don't need to explain yourself to people. And this was a test. Do I practice what I preach? And it was incredibly tempting to reach out to each of these people and tell them all the details that were likely left out in this one-sided account. But I didn't, and I won't, for two reasons. The first is that, again, you don't need to explain yourself to anybody. If you know that you are acting from a place of following your intuition, from doing what you know is right, even if the other person doesn't like it, then you know what? That's it. You did what you needed to do. No one is owed an explanation. Now, if you want to, and it feels like the right thing to do, depending on the situation, fine. But before you do that, ask yourself, are you doing this for your ego? And in my case, the answer to that question is yes. The only thing to gain by sharing my side of things with these people was a restored ego, knowing I'd said my piece and cleared my name. But here's the other reason I won't reach out to any of these people to explain my side of things. And it is this, anyone who's willing to walk out of your life, especially without talking to you about why, is someone that you need to let go of anyway. And now the other thing I found gratitude for in this whole situation is that what happened after this difficult conversation is that this person confirmed my intuition was spot on. I mean, business is like marriage. If it's not amazing in the beginning while you're dating and just getting things going, it's going to get pretty rough once you get married or officially start this thing and you layer in all the stresses that come with it. If you know it's not the right match, you need to honor that at all costs. And if I had to choose between doing this now and getting some Instagram unfollows by supposed friends instead of ignoring what I knew to be true and proceeding anyway, instead I'd be looking at potentially dissolving an entity or liquidating assets. Bottom line, I am really glad that I did this early on. So trust yourself when you know it's time to prune. There's a saying I love that nothing meant for you gets away. And it's true. Would a ride or die, dependable, loving friend or business associate cut you out of their life, let alone do so without giving you the opportunity to share your point of view? Absolutely not. So has this whole thing been a bummer and hurtful? Yeah, but it's a blessing. Fair weather friends are no friends at all. And the same goes for anyone who has cut you out of their life because you don't share views on politics, COVID, mask mandates, etc. If that type of stuff, that superficial crap is a deal breaker, you didn't have a healthy or worthwhile relationship to begin with. Like that's the truth, right? So I know There's also maybe shedding that is happening as you do a lot of inner work and growth to become the best version of yourself, which if you're listening to a podcast like this, you probably are. Some relationships in your life are going to fall away. And it doesn't mean that those people were bad people. Not at all. It just means that they didn't want to grow with you. And so you outgrew them or you grew apart. And that's okay too. So... Bottom line, I I have reframed this to feel so much gratitude for these people who were pruned recently because they led me to meet people that I know will be in my life for the long haul. Their reason and season is clear, and I am so thankful for them. I want to close with a really beautiful quote that I heard on Kayla Craft's Mommy Millionaire podcast. So she said, um, she has a really great episode called The 10 Lessons uh, from 2021. And in it, she says, who you partner with matters. Sometimes God will prune your tree because not everyone gets to go with you to that next level. And then she shared this quote, 
God says the reason some people have turned against you and walked away from you without reason has nothing to do with you. It is because I have removed them from your life because they cannot go where I am taking you next. They would only hinder you at that next level because they have already served their purpose in your life. Let them go and keep moving. Greater is coming your way, says the Lord. Amen. So take a moment, think about the relationships that have been pruned in your life, either by you or by them. Think of all the lessons that you learned from those people, the people that you met because of them, the role they played in helping you be where you are now, which is exactly where you're meant to be at this moment. So thank them and let them go in love and peace. Thanks for listening. And I'll see you back on Wednesday. Did you know we're in the midst of the great resignation? 4.3 million Americans left their jobs in August without seeking a new one. If you want to become a corporate dropout like me, but you need help creating an exit plan, I can help. Whether you need corporate exit coaching, business coaching, or you're seeking help to step into the best version of yourself, I'd love to connect with you. Listeners of the Corporate Dropout Podcast can book a complimentary discovery call with me. Visit alaciacitro.com slash dropout. That's A-L-E-S-S-I-A-C-I-T-R-O dot com slash dropout to book your free coaching call today. Thank you so much for listening to the show. If today's episode added value to your life in some way, please subscribe, leave a five-star review and share it with someone who needs this. I'd love to connect with you on Instagram and hear how the show has inspired you. So tag me or slide into the DMs. Find me at Corporate Dropout Official or Alacia Citro. That's A-L-E-S-S-I-A-C-I-T-R-O and two underscores. Until next time, remember that you're a badass. Stay focused, stay hungry, and dare to drop out.